this is the Revo band and these are 3D printed uh, pads for the bridle um, and they come in three parts. This is the headpiece and this goes underneath the headpiece of your bridle and it's designed so to reduce the pole pressures under your bridle. Studies have shown that pressures um, seem to peak around the base of the ear and at the top as well. There's some really interesting uh, research done by Geraldine Van de Veen with uh, the International Society of Equitation Science found that they put pressure pads underneath the pole and underneath the noseband and also underneath the saddle and found that pressure is peaking on the sides of the pole were also peaking underneath the saddle which is quite interesting. Also things like poor design and tight fitting nosebands all have an effect on the pressure on the pole and we want to reduce this. Um, it's a highly nerved area, it's very sensitive and it can cause head shaking, obviously it can make the horse very uncomfortable and it also has an effect on their proprioceptive, uh, how they feel their body is in space so we need to make sure that they're nice and comfortable. This is the Revoban headpiece and I'm going to pop it on her bridle now. It has two clips on either side to stop the leather falling, uh, slipping back or slipping forward. So that's one side, it's popped on the other side. And when you're putting this on your bridle, just ensure that you might have to change the cheek piece and the nose band uh, buckle down a hole as you've added padding around the head. So I have to pop down both mine hole uh, just to make sure that it's uh, it's not too tight then on her pole. So that's nice and on her head now and the, the leather is kind of keeping away from her ear so her ear can move um, a bit more freely and hopefully make it a lot more comfortable for her. Um, with Geraldine's research she found also that even when there was no rain tension applied there was still peak pressures down at the pole and this was also found in bitless bridles so it's not to do with rain to, to do with bitless bridles versus bitless that all bridles tend to have peak pressures at the pole so we want to make sure that there's always a good amount of padding around the horse and ears and on the pole. So now we're going to put on the nose piece. So again, this is all designed to ensure more comfort from your horse and uh, studies have shown us that the peak pressure uh, on our nose bands appear at the front of the horse's head and this is where we want to protect and pressures up to, and there's been forces uh, recorded up to 9.5 kilos uh, when a nose band is tightened to 0 0.5 finger spacing. So we always want to make sure there's a good amount of spacing underneath your nose band if you're using one. So I'm going to pop this one under her nose band now. And it's got these handy clips, so they just click on. So, and then you tighten your nose band and always ensuring that there is two finger spacing at a minimum underneath your nose band and you can do this with the uh, International Society of Equitation Science nose band paper. We can just check. Popping that underneath and that's nice and comfortable there. So there's a good amount of space under there to ensure that she's nice and comfortable. So the, the point of this pad is to reduce the peak pressures around her nose and just reduce the overall pressure across the nose band caused by even just putting the nose band on it. And finally the Revo band also have a third piece and this one goes at the back underneath the horse's chin. And I found this when I was working in uh, eventing, when I was grooming for uh, event riders. And they had very, they usually built horses that were very like pointy boned, if there's such a word, like kind of thoroughbred type horses. And I often found that when during the winter when they were clipped, um, that applying the leather nose bands to their uh, mandible, the, the bony areas must have been quite uh, uncomfortable for the horses to have that directly on. So I really like that Revo Band have brought this out and it's, it's very similar to the one at the front. You just pop it on with the clips. So 
Now my Revo band uh, pieces are placed on my bridle, um, hopefully ensuring that my horse is more comfortable when being ridden. You can get these items in Ireland from DSE uh, Equine Equestrian Outfitters in Wicklow, but you can also get them directly from Revo band, just Googled Revo band. Uh, you can find them on Instagram uh, and online to uh, order your kits. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and uh, any questions, let me know in the comments.